hello everyone today i'm going to show how to get your office 365 tenant users multi-factor status using powershell as you know microsoft started to enforce mfa for all users for large organization it will be helpful to find all users mfa status in an excel file rather than finding from the portal so here i will show you how you can find your mfa status from your portal and then we will run the uh, powershell command to find it from the uh, portal okay so to do that you are going to get to users active users and here is the multi-factor authentication this is my uh, dummy portal they are just uh, random users and all of my multi-factor status are disabled so i'm not enable mfa for my tenant and here uh, it will be show uh, you know um, uh, 50 users or 100 users or 200 users and you have to uh, find it if for the particular user uh, in here so now i'm going to show you this exact uh, information uh, to from the powershell so first of all we'll need to run this command in powershell uh, you have to run the powershell as an administrator okay now run this command first okay uh, command run done now if uh, you run this command for first time it might prompt this uh, new get provider if it's uh, appear then you just uh, uh, click on uh, type on y yes and then again it will uh, you know uh, install the module from ps gallery you will uh, just type y now the next command is connect MSL service okay it will connect uh, have to give your a administrator ID and give the password just click on sign in so it's already uh, connected now you have to uh, get the powershell script from here uh, i have already copied the script in my txt file i'll just uh, cop uh, just whole copy it and then run it to the powershell or you can you know uh, uh, save the txt file as an ps1 and then run it from here so as you can see here i will see the tenant uh, my tenant my users uh, mfa status from here and this is uh, uh, you know gra a view a grid view and uh, this is in temporary so i can close this one and uh, as you can see from the command line uh, there is an uh, then uh, a csv file that will save to my team folder so let's just check it out so here is my team folder okay okay uh, i need to yeah i need to click on enter in order to get uh, the csv file yes i'll get the csv file in here you can open this one and as you can see in here you will find the principal name display name mfa status and mfa default method so it is not enabled so you will status in here so let's uh, you know uh, run another one run a test in here let's say i want to enable mfa for an user yeah I've done that. I 
enable for my test users for test 2 and also I enforce this okay so my three users now have uh, the MFA now let's check it out to our uh, command that it is uh, correct or not okay we run again as you can see here uh, the status is enforced so already enforced and uh, how they connect I mean they were using the authenticator apps or if they use uh, the phone number it will also the default method will also be showing in here so it's a very handy feature uh, you will uh, find out uh, how they actually connect so this is uh, one of the uh, good features that I found from the script uh, you can close it out click on enter and after the enter you will uh, find the MFA status in here ok I have to delete uh, the last one yeah so yeah the latest one yeah so already showing the latest one this is one enforced 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 one and the MFA default method is uh, not enabled so let's uh, do one thing uh, we can uh, log into one account uh, let's say the test one account and uh, we can uh, uh, add an uh, authentication method so just give me a second I will reset the password and, and uh, add the MFA in, in that account so now I log in uh, to one of the test one account and it said that okay I need to uh, have more information as I enforce the MFA so click on next yeah now you want me to use the authenticator I already have an authenticator on my phone uh, let's just use uh, that authenticator apps uh, click on next uh, I can click on add or can school account scan QR code uh, just scan the code in here okay the code scan is done I can click on next and yeah I've got you know MFA response in my phone I click on yes give the number and then yes yeah, it's approved so notification approved I click on yes and it to give an app password let's say just outlook one click on next okay I don't need that app password right now uh, so click on done so I am logging to the account here I can log in uh, to the users account test one uh, with the help of MFA so now we can run the same co code and see uh, if it is uh, showing any different it should show the default MFA method let's just run it right now ok yes now you can see the default MFA method is Microsoft Authenticator Apps for test 1 and again if you want to you know the report just click on enter and you will find the latest file in here just open it and then you can see yes your uh, default authentication method is Microsoft Authenticator apps so you can track down that uh, how many users actually using the authenticator app and how many users actually using their phone number in here so you will find the phone number in here uh, so uh, this is a very useful uh, you know uh, command very useful PowerShell 
command uh, that you can easily uh, track down your users uh, MFA uh, status and also their uh, MFA default method so that's it for today uh, thank you